Hey guys, so I'm going to read this post and I'm going to tell you why as a lawyer this is absolutely the original poster is the scammer and later I have evidence of it at the very end of the video that yes indeed the original poster admits that some of the cards that were sent were fake. My sister sold magic cards, now the card shop says they're counterfeit. So my sister decided to sell her MTG cards and the shop quoted her a total of $42,000 USD for the lot. Many were from the 90s and were quite valuable. Now the shop says they determined they were counterfeit and refused to pay or give the cards back. They have yet to provide substantial proof that they were fake. From my understanding, they had no legal ground to hold the property. Obviously, it would be illegal for my sister to sell potentially fake cards, but we want to have them tested by independent party to the sale. We do have reason to believe they may be real. The card shop just so happened to have listed the same cards for sale on their website after receiving my sister's lot of cards. This could be coincidence, but something rubs me the wrong way. Any advice would be appreciated. This had 11,000k upvotes. Many of his comments had thousands and thousands. Here you see 2k upvote. And let's just go ahead and examine why this is fake. If you have 40, so if you're a Magic player, $42,000 is a lot of money. Now, he sent in 80 cards. So there are some heavy, heavy hitters, right? 42,000 divided by 80 gives, and then apparently one of the cards was only worth $1, which again was very weird, is $525. So on average, he was sending in the underground C. Underground C buy list is right now for 600. Essentially, he sent 80 underground C on average cards. How the hell do you not know your cards are real? Like, how the hell do you not know? You have $42,000 of magic cards at least. So clearly, you have somehow obtained this large magic collection, right? I mean, a $42,000 collection on average, a $525 buy list, which is like $1,000 retail. We, I mean, we are literally talking about 80 underground seas, the average value of the card at $42,000 at 80 cards. And I am absolutely baffled how somebody with that type of collection does not know if the cards are real or not. Um, and again, that's my my sister. Now, when you click on the profile, it looks like this is a woman. So we have two female Magic players, and they want to get $42,000, which is a large chunk of money for anybody, especially this individual who's now posting. And there's no way in hell these cards are real. Flyers to sent, Flyers sent to Texas Republican primary voters. So that's their most recent post. Neighbors from hell. Louisiana, Louisiana, legal advice. My sister sold her magic cards. Now the shop says they're counterfeit. My sister sold her magic. So this guy's been double posting uh, in multiple locations now. Um, and he never mentioned the store's name. So I'm kind of of the belief that he's only making this, he or she is only making this up to get uh, Reddit karma, which is a very bad thing to do because buy list is very safe, especially with Card Kingdom, especially like people want to know what the policies are and they will have a recording of opening the package just like I do. Every package, I record myself opening the package. And why do I do this? Because I don't want you to say a card is missing, that you sent a card when you didn't send the card. You sent a real card when I said you sent a fake card. You sent a fake card when I said when I was expecting a real card. There are a million different, you know, I've done buy list a ton. There's a million different things that can go wrong. So you are going to record it. And that's exactly what they did. They sent pictures over of them and videos, I assume. And it turned out that this guy admits that the cards are fake. It's a disaster, guys. This is absolutely a disaster that this dude is getting away with this crime. 
R Legal Vice. What did he do before? R MTG Finance, R Legal Vice, R Dune. No stupid questions. Like he clear he doesn't even give a shit. After as soon as like the post got blocked, he went off to talking about Louisiana and stuff. Um I don't know, man. Choosing beggars, like Reddit, Wiki. I mean, he's all over. He is all over the place. Um, so this person has... Uh, that person um, had almost... Has no post regarding Magic the Gathering outside of this post. That I can see scrolling down for quite a bit of time. Um, they never mentioned what store they sent the cards to. And the... The smoking gun, if you will, is the fact that they actually did admit that these cards were fake. Or some of them were fake. And they wanted the cards to be sent back at the buy list. So look at, think about it from the buy list perspective. They're expecting to make money on this. So when you do a buy list, you are expecting to make some amount of money. Well, you didn't get the money. Okay? You didn't get the money. And... Not only did you not get the money and you lost the cost of opportunity, this guy is flaming you online on Reddit, right? And he's kind of like threatening you of litigation. He's threatening you of a lawyer. This guy would never hire a lawyer in, in his life, right? And I am absolutely stunned that so many people in the R legal advice, Reddit, none of them being lawyers, I assume, was giving this that type of... Very simply put, if you have forty-two thousand dollars of magic cards, you you send eighty cards on average. That is for five hundred and twenty-five dollars by list a card. I mean, that literally is eighty underground seas. How the hell do you not know they're real or not before you send them in? You know, maybe they're real. Maybe no, no, fakes are really obviously fakes. And if you have that amount of cards, you know what how to test it. You know how to test it. Um, yeah, this either didn't happen, which I'm leaning towards, because immediately after, so they kept posting and responding, trying to generate karma on Reddit. Immediately after the Fred got shut down, they started going to other Freds trying to generate more karma. They couldn't obviously go to our legal advice again, saying some crazy stuff because no one would believe it at this point in time. This is wild, and I, I want you guys to know there are a lot of scammers like this who play victim, right? Oh, you know, hey, and, and this is a very dangerous thing. So, again, this guy's, they're absolutely selling fake cards via buy list, and then they act like the victim when the card kingdom, I assume it's card kingdom because they do have a policy where they won't return the counterfeit to you. They will document it, they will send you pictures, they'll send you videos, but they won't return it to you. They'll even tell you exactly what was wrong with the card. But anyone with this amount of money, you don't accumulate $42,000 of cards, $42,000 of magic cards, especially this high value. 80 cards on average, each of them being 525. That is a mat. I mean, there's 80 underground seas without first understanding how to detect a fake magic card. It's ludicrous to believe otherwise. Anyway. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.